You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, rice gang. Myshopify.com to get your merchandise. Salute to the subscribers. My guy, Showtime SP. Smack Volume 5 is coming. A lot of people want to know who would be on the card. People are, you know, starting to ask questions, and we got a battle. Rum Nitty vs. Chilla Jones. Rum Nitty vs. Chilla Jones. Battle so nice, I had to say it twice. When you want to talk about some of the elite writers, some of the best pens, some of the people who put line to line to line together, Rum Nitty, Chilla Jones, scheming, punching, bars, war, <sighs> writer's block. Oh man, Rum Nitty versus Chilla Jones. I will say this, um, Rum Nitty has obviously dominated the volume series. Dom, I will say dominated from a bunch of his battles, whether it be New Jersey Twerk, Iron Solomon. You could just go back to a bunch of them joints. He has pretty much ran through the volume. That, that small room, that stage, everyone knows that when it comes to that Specific setting, Rum Nitty's a god in there. Line for line for line. Said he was gonna beat me to death. He right. He died first. Yo, stuck. Shotgun Shug? Huh? Shotgun Shug? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all niggas know what it is. Um, Chilla Jones is coming into this battle. He will more than likely be the underdog. The announcement just came out um, on the app. They got apps for that. Rum Nitty. The Gunline King, Gunline King versus Chilla Jones. Um, Chilla Jones obviously is battling pretty much everywhere. He's battling against Real Deal on King of the Dot for the chain. I felt like he won the last battle. I will be honest with you. Um, but now he's got Rum Nitty, and I know always, you know, people want always want to know does he got heat on his feet? You know what I'm saying? With this joint, I do got the foams on. Do not get it fucked up. Do not. You know what I'm saying? The Long Jones look like the Broncos, but uh. Rum Nitty vs. Chilla Jones. Rum Nitty. Chilla Jones coming into this battle will more than likely be the underdog. Um, he he pretty much will be. Uh, I will say this. Chilla Jones, obviously, to me, his best battle ever was versus uh, JC. Um, that was his coming out party. That was when that really like set the t that really set the stage, set the tone and the stage for a lot of these small room joints. That was one of the last real one of. Not the only one. That was a Black Star classic, small room classic, and it's probably the last of the great one-offs between really, really new guys. There's been some other battles here sprinkling there. This is not a history lesson. We're not doing that today. But um, I say that to say this. Rum Nitty versus Chilla Jones could be a very entertaining matchup, but the only thing about Rum Nitty, and I mean only about Chilla Jones, not Rum Nitty. Um, Chilla Jones... He don't really translate that well on URL. I mean, I'm not, I'm just, I'm not even looking into no notes or none of that shit. I seen him live versus Cortez, that didn't translate well. I seen him versus Steams in the battle that dropped, that didn't translate well. Um, I seen him, and like all of his joints that be having on URL, they just don't translate well, I mean, I don't know what it is. I mean, the material pretty much be the same. He do the schemes, he do the punches, you know what I'm saying? But it just does not translate well. I don't know what it's been. Now, maybe he could get a different jump in this small room volume series, hopefully. Chilla, chilla, please, 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 my nigga. Like, like can we get the, uh, the even the Jonah chilla? You know what I'm saying? Like, we need something because coming into this, just coming into this, you are the underdog. Do not get it fucked up. Don't get it twisted. Like, you're going to be the underdog. And, you know, some people may embrace that role. You know, he may embrace that role and feel like, you know, people got him counted out. And he may use that as some um, energy. Energy. Look at my energy. Salute to Tay Rock. Um, Chilla Jones may use that as energy to, you know, channel it in to really be focused on Chilla, uh, on Rum Nitty. But what I will say is... uh. Rum Nitty ain't gonna play no games with no damn Chilla Jones. I don't see it, him playing no games with him. Um, the really performance that Chilla Jones really got a lot of love on URL with was him and B Magic when they were in the two on two, but that's a two on two. Everybody gets love in two on twos, you know what I'm saying? And I just took a second to look through Chilla Jones, you know, some of his battles on URL and 
he really ain't had many in like the last couple years anyway. You know what I'm saying? The two on two versus B Magic, I mean versus T Top and Briz was raw. Um, no, no pun intended. Uh, the 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 joint with him and um, the joint with him and Cortez that really didn't translate well. He body prep. That was what. That was the one. He body prep on a big stage too, and he had Saga, but it was like after the bodying of prep, it didn't really translate to me. So I will give Chilla credit where credit is due. You know what I'm saying? I did do that, but going into this, this is like a whole different era. That was like way back. He battled prep in um, 2015. Yeah, that's fucking five years ago. Damn near. Next month is December, January. It's almost five years ago. So this is a different era, but um. Chilla Jones is a hell of a writer though, like a hell of a writer. Punchline schemes, uh, like he he definitely has the pen to keep up with a Rum Nitty, but Rum Nitty just got that that control, that room control, and he's not even though he punches at a high rate back to back to back, he has found ways to transcend the punchlines. It's not just everything is this this like this the gun big like super soaker. Put sticks in the bit like this, with like that. No, he's not doing that. He's got different ways to use complex schemes and punches that really land. And every who don't like Nitty. Like when you deal with those small room volume series, it's a controlled environment. It's only like a certain amount of people in there. It really ain't no fans. You know, what I'm saying it usually be battle rappers and staff and people like that and shit. Everybody likes Nitty. I mean, let's be for real. They all like Nitty. Like, even when he battled Twerk, like, the fucking room was like a blood convention. But Nitty had his people there, too, and they loved Rum Nitty. And the the punches that Rum Nitty delivers at a high rate, <sighs> chill it, y'all. Jesus fucking Christ. But what I will say is I'm happy that the Ultimate Rap League believed in Chilla Jones enough to set this matchup up because he wasn't really getting... No names, names like that on URL. He got Steams, he got Cortez. You gotta know when niggas put you in that shit. When you getting them names like that, no disrespect to nobody. You know what I'm saying? But when you start getting names that's like on that level like that, and you're not getting them names, 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 you know niggas don't really fuck with you like that. It is what it is. Averb said the other day, yo, if you a new nigga and new and, and veterans ain't calling you out, you might as well think about some other shit to do because once you get hot. The veterans are going to be looking for you. The veterans were looking for B-Dot when B-Dot started getting hot. And hopefully we see B-Dot on the volume too. Like, I, I don't know the card yet. I ain't trying to reach out and find out about it. I'm pretty sure I could if I wanted to. But I, I like I like the announcements to flow in as they flow. But uh, Chilla Jones, let's get back to you, Daddy. Let's get back to you. Um, you're going to have to bring your A game. I know you got Real Deal coming up. And, you know, the King of the Dot match, you know what I'm saying? I felt like he won the last time, but I don't fucking know how that went. It's just, I don't know. But uh, you got Rum Nitty coming up soon, and um, Rum Nitty's not going to play with you. Now, you could win this. You do have enough bars to win this. And the reason why I think Chilla Jones could win this is because there was one volume where um, Rum Nitty took his opponent light. Um, I didn't really feel like he was on his A game. He had one of the Madden Curse shirts on, the fucking um, whack, the, the cigarillo shit. He had that shit on, and he lost to John John. I had him losing to John John. Um, I felt like he was, his material wasn't there. I didn't know how prepared he was, and I didn't know how much he cared about the battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't really care about the battle, you didn't really put your all into it. Not taking nothing away from John John. John John clearly won. You know what I'm saying? But I just felt like Rum Nitty didn't give it his all. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the thing that disappoints me. When one artist doesn't give it their all and the other one's bringing their A game, it's like, uh, did you really even want this one? But, um, we'll see where it goes. But, uh, Rum Nitty going into it, I feel like it's clearly the favorite. Um, more so than a DNA versus A verb match. I think, you know, you got people from both sides that feel like how they feel about that match. A lot of people got DNA winning, a lot of people got verb winning. But in this matchup, I think it's going to be a lot of people picking Rum Nitty to win. Like I said, Chella Jones could use that as the ultimate motivation and come in with his best shit. But it's just to me, and I don't know, maybe it's y'all jump in the comments and y'all let me know. I don't like to be looked at like I'm bugging, you know what I'm saying? I just don't think Chilla Jones translates very well on URL. And I mean, it hasn't been. 
in at least the last couple years, which performance has he really translated, translated like that? You know what I'm saying? I've seen people who haven't translated well on URL leave and come back and do translate. Like, none none. If you watch none none's battles in the past, like versus Av and um, whatever else he had, it wasn't really translating. He just battled Burt Bucks from Rocks Caving 3 0. Maybe the second is debatable, but smoked him, and I heard he smoked skates. He's starting to translate more. Sometimes you just got to do some things to, like, revamp your style and make it more catered to the URL crowd. Um, hopefully, Chilla Jones, I, and I don't even know why. Like, I really don't. Like, I know Rumney's Gunline King, Believability. Maybe it's the believability factor. I don't know. I don't I don't want to make this longer than, I need, than it needs to be. But Rum Nitty vs. Chilla Jones, so nice, I had to say it twice. So it's Rum Nitty vs. Chilla Jones. I definitely like the matchup. Um, hopefully, both of these guys are on the A game and, and, and we get a classic out of it, you know, because Chilla Jones did come out of that small room with JC, you know what I mean? And that's what I'm saying. Like, I, when I say don't translate well, I'm not talking about his earlier work on URL. I'm talking about in the last couple years, like the last three, four years, him versus Cortez, him versus Steams, shit like that is what I'm talking about. Don't don't tell me like, oh, he had the best one-off ever. I know I said that in the beginning of the video. Like, I'm not here to argue with you, you know what I'm saying? I'm really not. But uh, you already know what it is and what it does. Salute to all the subscribers, that notification gang. We just hit 43,000. Um, salute to every single one of y'all. Uh, merchandise is moving. Um, we'll make sure that all the orders get out. Uh, and everybody's gonna get their stuff. It's hoodie season, you know what I'm saying? I might even bring this one back around. If you're looking for it, let me know. Um, but other than that, man, Rum Nitty versus Chilla Jones. Woo hoo hoo! Let him know. That's fire. But uh, you know what it is. 